The Perplexus is a 3D maze that's as much a sculpture as it is a game or a puzzle. Once you pick it up, you cannot put it down. So these were created by a sculptor, Michael McInnes. And based on the success of the original, he's actually launched two new Perplexus. He's got the Rookie for younger kids and the Epic if you want the ultimate challenge. Now the cool thing about these is that it's not about winning, it's actually about perseverance and continuing to challenge yourself. And if I may say so myself, the rookie, <laughs> even though it's a rookie, it is still challenging. But all three are ones that you can pick up at any age and just get addicted to. So from the time he was a little kid, Michael McGinnis was fascinated by mazes and was drawing and illustrating them. And the challenge came along as, as he came up with this idea of how could he make this something 3D? And as a sculptor too, he really brought that element to this. It's, it's this continuous maze, one continuous loop that goes on and on through this ball. What I'm really working with is not a single object or a sculpture. Instead, it's a concept. And the concept is that we have pathways that intersect and allow you to travel from one side of a pathway to another. And that's what makes it three-dimensional. And so I have a little model of that idea. It's not really a Mobius strip according to a mathematician, but I think of it that way. And as you can see, if you start from black here, I can move around onto green, transferring onto blue, and then through red and back to black. And so ultimately every surface of a structure can be used as a pathway. It's that ongoing learning process that really makes it such a unique experience. You want to beat this thing. At first you think it's supposed to be done one way, and then you just twist it and work it another way and then you solve it. And I really think that's why it's so great for all ages. So I've seen even younger kids you know, just be thrilled to make it through certain levels and challenges and want to show you what they've done with it and then all the way up to my parents picking it up and figuring it out and so it's a great thing that brings different generations together too. Right, that's a key component, it's that focus. When you see mm -hmm. your kids or yourself focusing on something, there's no TV screen, no batteries, it's just that concentration and that inner challenge. You're challenging yourself to get to the next level.